to the action of forces as shown in figure. Find the forces P and Q. The system is in equilibrium. Okay. As the system is equilibrium is given that as the as the system system is in equilibrium. Equilibrium. As the system is in equilibrium. The system is in equilibrium means what it is? Sum of all the horizontal forces that is summation fx is equal to zero. Summation of fx is equal to zero and summation of fy is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the vertical forces that is summation fy is equal to zero. Summation fx and summation of y is equal to zero. Okay. So first of all, resolve all the forces. So first that is P load it is in on horizontal axis. Okay. And 90, 90 load it is in incline force that is towards the point. So resolve it is in two direction. So resolve this force it is in two direction. So angle it is with respect to x axis. So that's what will be on x axis it is. On x axis it is 90 cos 45. 90 cos 45. On y axis it is 90 sin 45. 90 sin 45. 90 sin 45. Then resolve this one 60 newton load in two direction. That is y and x direction. Y and x direction. So angle it is with respect to x axis. That's why this one it is 60 cos 30, t cos 30 on x axis, t cos 30. Then on y axis it is 60 sine 30. On y axis it is 60 sine 30, 60 sine 30, okay. Then resolve this 90 Newton in two direction. The angle it is with respect to x axis here it is also, okay. One it is x and second one it is in y direction. Okay, in x direction it is, 100 cos 70, 100 cos 70, 100 cos 70, 100 cos 70. On y axis, it is 100 sin 70, 100 sin 70. Okay. So, first equilibrium equation apply here summation fx is equal to summation fx is equal to summation fx is equal to. So, here assumption when the force it is going right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is in right side then it will be take positive the direction of force it is in left side then it will be take negative direction of force it is in left side it will be take negative negative okay so summation fx so first of all this p force it is going positive x axis so it is p then 90 cos 45 it is going left side so minus 90 cos 45 then this is 60 cos 30, this one it is also going left side. So minus 60 cos 30, minus 60 cos 30, cos 30. Then 100 cos 70, it is also going left side. So this one it is also minus 100 cos 70, 100 cos 70 is equal to zero is equal to zero. So it will be P minus P minus P minus P minus so minus 90 cos 45 then minus 60 cos 30 then minus 100 cos 70 100 cos 70 so it will be minus 149.1 49.803 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 so p is equal to it is p is equal to it is 149.149.803 newton 149.803 newton okay this one it is p then summation f y is equal to now apply second equilibrium equation summation f y is equal to Algebraic sum of all the vertical forces is equal to. Here assumption, in the direction of force it is upward, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is in upward, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is in downward, then it will be take negative. 
the direction of force it is in downward then it will be like negative negative okay so first of all this 90 sin 45 it is going downward direction so minus 90 sin 45 then this q force it is going upward direction then plus q then t sin 30 this is also going upward direction so plus 60 sin 30, 60 sin 30. Then this is 100 sin 70, it is going downward direction. So minus 100 sin 70 is equal to 0. So it will be just calculate Q in terms minus 90 sin 45, then plus 60 sin 30, then minus. 100 sin 70. So it will be minus 127, minus 127 point 608, 608 is equal to 0, is equal to 0. Then Q is equal to, then Q is equal to this 127.608, 608 Newton. This is Calculate the P and Q forces when the force it is in equilibrium system. Okay, force it is in equilibrium. Okay, this is your final answer. And the force it is in equilibrium. So equilibrium means it is summation of x is equal to zero and summation of y is equal to zero. Okay, so actually there are three equilibrium equation. One it is summation m is equal to zero, summation of x is equal to zero, and summation of y is equal to zero. So it is only applicable there two forces here. One it is summation fx and summation and second one it is summation f1 